Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's go to Lockjaw's Locker because obviously I can't progress without going to it and try and collect the bananas as you fall down. I did an okay job. You'll notice that there's a couple of coins on the way there as well. I'll show you how to get them in just a second. Uh, swimming controls. You press the jump button to swim upwards. You press the Y button to swim faster and that's pretty much it. It's rather intuitive overall. But uh, they don't really mix up the controls too much, you know, because then otherwise it'll kind of mess you up. <laughs> now that you've seen the water level go way, way up there, I can now collect the stuff that is up here. By the way, banana bunches are worth 10 bananas, so if you see them, you might want to pick them up if you're low on lives or whatnot. I suppose, and I got an extra life for 100 bananas. Woohoo! Uh, there's an odd line of bananas here that I never really figured out how to get to. Uh, oh, these uh, enemies here are flot sams. I think they're actually it's actually pronounced like float sams, but it's spelled F L O T S A M. They just swim around in a pre-designated pattern. But yeah, you see a couple of bananas in that line. It looks like that you can get somewhere inside there, like by going through a wall or something. But I haven't really been able to figure out how to do that. <laughs> That's it's one of the mysteries of the game that I just haven't been able to figure out. Oh, it's Lockjaw! The thing that the level is named after. Well, not just a thing, it's a fish. And yeah, it's a type of piranha. It's really slow at this level. But there's much, much faster ones later on. Here is On Guard, the swordfish. And you swim around just by moving the D-pad and holding the Y button. So it's a little bit easier swimming with On Guard than without. And holding the A button, he's also got a special attack. Yes, indeedly do it does. So, oh wait, can I go like... Yes, I can. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I forgot about that. Good thing I noticed that. This is the bonus area. And I... Oh, it's this maze. I think you're supposed to go like this. No, oh, I'm doomed. The coin is in the upper right corner. I just gotta remember how to get to it. Uh, yeah, I should be hurrying up by pressing the Y button and spamming it well. Okay, not, that's good enough. <laughs> that wasn't all that bad. I thought it was gonna be worse, actually. Yeah, I get pooped out right by here. If I if I were to fail, I would just be right there to try it again. But yeah, those, those bananas. I still don't get where to get those bananas. Perhaps it is a mystery I will never solve. If you open up the crate, there will actually be nothing in there if you've already got it on guard. Uh, so it's kind of like a way to prevent multiple critters of the same kind being on the uh, screen. And if you get hit, it runs away. The same with Rambi, or all the all the other critters, though they run away all in their own ways. Alright, moving on. You can also attack enemies by charging into them, obviously, as I'm showing you here, but just so I would make a demonstration of that as well. Stash, dash, dash! Fish out of water. <laughs> Checkpoint! Oh yeah! Letter ends here. And that flot sam or float sam just went right with the current. Oh, new enemy there, Shuri. It they, there's different kinds of shuries, these little starfish guys, so you're gonna have to look out for their variations as you go, but you know their name is Shuri. And there's another unguard down here, and I... Oh, I'm trying to lead Lockjaw there out of its pen... Well, oh, that works. <laughs> I needed to get on guard down here for something a little bit later in the level that I remember. The Donkey Kong coined the level to be more specific. You're gonna have to do a blind dash across a line of bananas. You'll know it when you see it. Well, okay, maybe you won't know it when you see it because it is sort of blind, but you gotta really, really dash forward and do it quickly, otherwise you'll miss your opportunity to get the Donkey Kong coin to this level. All right, here we go. Maybe this isn't it. Okay, here we go, 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 no! It was up there. No! Oops, and I totally missed the extra life or coin. I am starting this part out very well, aren't I? <laughs> well, looks like I'm gonna have to go back in. I'll see you back over at that coin spot. Oh, oh, found a secret when I was battling Lockjaw there. 
Would you look at that? Now, if only I can find out how to get those bananas on the other side. Ah, you know, near the beginning. All right, so let's try this again. But this time with less fail, starting from the very top. Yeah! Got it this time. Get in the water. There we go. <laughs> and bloop. Yeah. That's how it's done. Woo! And that should do it. Yep, exclamation point plus a Donkey Kong coin. Ah, swanky. You can play a little quiz mini game here and earn some extra lives, but you gotta pay for your runs with coins. And if this is worth it to you, go on ahead. Well, this one's free, so I guess you might as well try it. Oh man, this this is a really tough one. Stinky was kind of uh, tempting there, given the smell in this room. But mm, the first enemy, I furry rats. Oh, I guess it wasn't a mouse at the beginning of the game, it was a rat. Hmm. Uh, this name is... Gangplank Alien! Yeah! And in the game one, you get one life. In game two, the pirate puzzler, you get two. Chimp challenge, you get three. And I guess I'll go through these. That would be the Y button, but I have it configured on my X Xbox controller to be the X button, but it's the Y button on the SNES, so that's obviously why you pick that. Uh, Pirate Panic, and of course it is Captain K. Rule. Yeah! And if I win this last one, you can see the third and final variation of the balloons. Actually, you can see it in the background, it's a blue one. Um. Or Okay, I wasn't sure about that. Rigging... Main... I don't think any of these are even level, so it's Main Race Mayhem. Uh... Oh. Um... <laughs> well, that's... That was a foreground object, wasn't it? The map? No, wait, that, that was a note that was a foreground object. A gun? Ah! I got lucky there, I admit. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, basically it's a quiz game that you can use to get extra lives at Swanky's Bonus Bonanza. Anyway, next level, Top Sail Trouble. Let's go! And... New Buddy Rattler! Actually, I've got its. Is it? Is its name Rattler? Or... Hold on, I'm gonna check this. Its name is Radley. Yeah, I had to look that up because my memory is so bad. <laughs> my memory uh, always fails me. But yeah, its name is Radley, and you can do a super jump by holding the A button like so, and just regular jump by well jumping. Uh, otherwise, it's uh, pretty same in controls, other than it's a little bit stuttery in its movements. See that? Unless you're in the air, of which it feels perfectly natural and normal. <laughs> so, yeah. Just try and stay in the air as much as you can then, obviously. So that you don't have any issues, and I just collect that one up that I didn't even know was there. <laughs> it's also got a more powerful jump than the Kongs alone that can smash those click clacks in one hit. So, yeah, it's quite handy overall to have. I do not intend on losing it. New attack pattern for the Kaboings, as you can tell there. Just hit them when they are at their low parts, or low part of the jump, excuse me. Whee! And obviously you need to use the super jump here to be able to get through the stage, otherwise you will not be able to get Radley through this place, and I need that crate, don't I? Uh, press the uh, X button to jump off your critter, whichever, oh shoot, whichever critter you have, and I think I totally screwed that up. Oh no, it didn't disappear, okay. I was a little bit worried about that. Okay, what I want to do here is throw this up there, the chest, I think I called it a crate a minute ago, and sucker just... <laughs> <laughs> It, did you see that? It, it, it respawned over here. <laughs> that is a crazy respawn rate. The reason why I need this is because it's got... 
What? What? I thought that had a cannonball in it. Huh. Well, I guess I didn't need that. <laughs> and there's some there's a coin up there. Yeah, I thought there was a cannonball in that thing. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. But anyway, that's how you get that crate out of there, I suppose. Kill that zinger if you want to get these bananas, I suppose. I Somehow I managed to forget the checkpoint. <laughs> Good lord, these past two parts, I, I'm just so rusty. And I, even, I almost just fell right on the zinger there. Wait, what's down here? Coin, bananas, split path. I don't think I want to go that way just yet. Oh, new enemy here. Just Actually, this enemy isn't really much of an enemy. It's it's a flitter, a little dragonfly critter. You often use them to jump on to get to other spots. So it's it's really hard to call them an enemy when they're usually there to help you out. <laughs> uh, although they can hurt you, so I guess that, that qualifies them as being an enemy, I suppose. Ugh! If I would have killed that zinger with that crate, I could have got that coin. Well, why not? Why not? Yeah. Like a pro. <laughs> Oh, this is what I mean about you can use the uh, flitter enemies to get places. There's a hidden visible hook there. And voila. Bonus town, it's a bonus town. Gotta get the tokens in the bonus town. And I'm just gonna run right up the center here. That failed. <laughs> Luckily, I can retry it almost immediately. Yeah. <laughs> click, 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 click. Go, 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 go. Too impatience. I believe I can just run right up the center if I remember this correctly, like without worrying about them whatsoever. Yeah! It's because I had the wrong Kong out because Dixie climbs slower than Diddy. Yeah, that's why I failed at that. Uh, maybe I should have uh, a Diddy out just in case I take a hit because her flutter jump is, f I mean, her uh, helicopter spin is far, far much much. Oh geez, I'm even messing up my commentary and my rustiness. Her uh, helicopter spin is much, much handier than just jumping uh, places. And can I actually get over? Yes, I can. I thought I might have needed a Dixie there. Uh, uh, precision jumping and somehow I managed to do it despite my rusty state. Uh, wait, what? There's a ledge up. Maybe I can't get to that ledge and it's just there for detail. I don't know, but I'm going to aim for the... I was going to say extra life, but I guess the G is in place of the extra life in this zone. Well, I guess that makes a lot of sense, because if you get all four Kong letters, you get an extra life, so yeah. Uh-oh. I missed a bonus! I am ashamed. In I go again, I guess. What's up here? Ah! This is right near the beginning, by the way. You just gotta jump up from the uh, left and go to the right side and come back up there. And look at this, they're all nice and a beautiful pattern for you to hop on. Voila! And there's the Donkey Kong coin. Now, here's something that I didn't show in the last part because I wasn't really able to. Uh, if you pause the game and then press select, you can go back to the world map and all the stuff you collected in the level, like bonus coins, Donkey Kong coins, whatever, will be saved on there so you don't have to go through the level all over again. So that's very handy. Uh, Funky Flights too. we're gonna meet Funky here, but we can't really do anything here. <laughs> At least not right yet. Not yet. Uh, this is a way for you to travel from world to world. Uh, yeah, and since I've only got the first world open, this is a waste of two coins if I were to show this right now, so I'm out of here, Funky. Alright, time to go to the first boss of the game and finish up the first world. Crow's Nest! Well, the boss's name is Crow. <laughs> All you have to do is jump on its eggs to get them to stop moving. And... Boop! That's all. It doesn't, I mean, aside from acting like it's hurt, it doesn't flash or anything like that. So, if you're used to that sort of thing, uh, yeah, it's hurt when it does that. <laughs> so, th there is no, like, indication that you're going to uh, get from a flashing enemy, usually, if that's what you're used to. Man, I'm just talking myself in circles due to my rustiness. Arr! I haven't made videos in such a long time, nah, but I still did a decent enough job. 
I mean, I haven't died yet, so... <laughs> and yeah, that was the first boss of the game. Really, really easy. And the next area of the game is Crocodile Cauldron, of which I'll be starting in the next part. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you there.